This is just a quick introduction to my little fireball. It's a Remington 700 tactical bolt knob magazine extension. Pat that spent shell out. That's the little uh, 17 fireball case, which I've uh, freshly annealed. Um, yeah, I've got a dual trigger in here. This is an old school Elite 4200 one inch 6 to 24 by 40 um, Bushnell 4200 with the rain guard that's so useful when the weather's bad which it always is here in the UK. Versapod, uh, quick release as we'll show you when um, Tony gets into the car. DM80 mod and a stowable, this is a Hoag stock that I've put in and I've bedded it fully into the, uh, into the, the action, fully into it. Little stock sling there with the um, some rounds in it. Love these o over mold oak stocks, they're just so grippy and hard in the wet, bad weather. Great for truck guns. This is the magnificently useful AccuShot uh, monopod, which you can use up and down or, or turn precisely and slowly to rise up. You've got course adjustment height and then you've got fine adjustment and lock rings you can stow it up I'm doing all this one-handed while holding a camera you can stow it up like this should you want the rifle to be nice and, nice and short brilliant little thing right Tony I'll give this to you <coughs> and uh, if you could show everybody how you take the Versapod off when you get in the car and how quick that is. Okay. And if you could do that up, I'm trying to do it left handed, it's not doing me any favours. Right. No, but do it down here where the light's better. Just taking the Versapod off, how quick it is. Okay, so there's the Versapod, Tony wants to get in the car, undo it a little bit, done. And you can now obviously shoot that out the window without the um, bipod being in the way, and there you go, it's back on. Love it. Okay, see you in a minute.